Hello, and thank you for watching this month's Deckman Well Financial Insights. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving and you were able to spend it with friends and family. In this month's video, I'll discuss some major headlines that influence markets in November. I'll also provide some insight into what goes into solid succession plan for businesses. Now diving into the markets, U.S. equities had quite a month in November. By the 30th, both the Dow and S&P had hit new all-time highs with the Dow rising about 24,000 for the first time ever. The S&P 500 also marked its longest run of monthly gains in a decade. Throughout the month, we received a variety of economic updates that helped support this performance. As October's data came in, many reports indicated that the economy is growing. The housing market showed strength as existing home sales came in far above market expectations, which is a very positive sign. The numbers were higher than we've seen since 2007. Experts believe economic growth may slow slightly in the fourth quarter, but they still think GDP readings could be at about 3%, which is well above what we've been used to for the past few years. How much consumers spend during the holiday shopping season will largely impact the last quarter's growth. With low unemployment and increasing incomes, we could experience higher spending. Looking back on November, consumer behavior and new economic data are not the only topics that move markets. One critical detail is tax reform. The House and Senate each released their own long-awaited bills, and the market has reacted to key differences between the two. In particular, the Senate's proposal to delay corporate tax cuts until 2019 contributed to a stock sell-off earlier in the month. Then, by November 30th, the stock markets hit record highs as Senator John McCain's support of the bill seemed to increase its likelihood of passing, as he was one of the senators who was on the fence. As of now, no one can say if the Senate and House will be able to come together to reconcile the differences before year end. Expectations for tax reform have pushed stock prices up in the U.S., but uncertainty over whether the promised changes will actually happen is affecting both market performance and consumer sentiment. As the tax debate continues, December should provide a lot of new information for the markets to digest. Also, many analysts expect the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates this month. This would be the third interest rate increase in 2017. We will continue to monitor these and many other economic details in December. And we are always welcome to questions about anything covered in this video or anything else you may have on your mind. Well, that wraps up our economic update for this month. Now let's move on to our educational topic, business planning. Many business owners are too busy running their own companies today to prepare a solid succession plan. This video offers a checklist for a smooth ownership transition in the future. Small business owners are the backbone of America. Privately held companies represent over 90% of all U.S. businesses and employ more people across the country than all the big corporations combined. You've invested a lot of yourself into growing your own business. You have the right to be proud of the result of your efforts. But have you prepared your business for a smooth ownership transition so you could step away in the future on your terms? It's smart to put a plan in place now while you can instead of later when you have to. So where do you begin? First, you'll need a succession plan. Only 28% of family businesses have one. If you have partners, your plan might include a buy-sell agreement funded with life insurance so your family is provided for financially. Or let's say one child wants to take over your business. You'll want to make sure that your other children receive assets at the same value. We can show you equalization strategies to prepare you for this too. Your checklist may also include an updated valuation of your business by a certified appraiser, a holistic estate plan, and a contingency strategy in case you become disabled. Business continuity planning is as important for your financial future as running the business is for you today. The earlier you begin the planning process, the better. Let's talk about how we can help you make informed decisions that work for you, your business, and your family. That is all I have for you this month, but don't forget to tune into next month's video for another economic and educational update from Deck and Wealth Management. If you'd like to discuss your personal financial situation and ways that Declan Wealth Management can assist you with your business continuity plan, please give us a call today at 303-741-9772. We look forward to speaking with you, and happy holidays.